Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 23, today verses 4 and 5. Jesus is on trial before Pilate. Let's see what happens next. So Pilate said to the chief priests in the crowd, I find no fault in this man, but they were the more fierce, saying he stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee to this place. Okay, so previous morning we saw that they brought Jesus to Pilate. They laid out about three charges against him, made them kind of political charges, including, you know, he's putting himself up, he's setting himself up as a king in opposition to Caesar. I mean, that's like a slam dunk, right? That's an instant, well, okay, he's, he's got to be in prison. He's got to be killed. So that's the charges they lay out there. Now, we're not getting the whole conversation. You can get more of the conversation in the other three Gospels. Luke doesn't give us the whole piece. In fact, none of them really give us the whole thing. They all give us pieces. Uh, John, there's some very interesting business in the Gospel of John, which one of these days we'll do as a, a devotional series. But right now, what we just have is Luke, so we don't get the whole story, but there's some questioning that happens. But when it's done, Pilate says, I find no fault in this guy. You know, we're done here. There's nothing to do. So he thinks in that moment. And they, they're they very stirred up now, and they're going to they're gonna not let this go. They are determined to kill Jesus. Interesting how on the first pass, because there's a couple of other passes here, but on the first pass, Pilate says, ah, I see through this, there's a wrong thing going on here. No, I, I'm letting him go. Interesting how a godless, pagan, uh, Roman, political guy, power guy, he sees through this and he's not going to he's not going to go for this, at least initially. Unfortunately, he has a weakness of character, which will become very evident before we're done here with this whole sequence. I like what I see. I mean, Pilate recognizes this guy's been set up. These guys are, are malicious, and he's ready to let Jesus go. And that's a very interesting piece. That even a heartless, pagan, unconverted fellow could look at Jesus and say, there's nothing wrong with him. In fact, he's what we all should be. He's the right, he's right and these, these accusers are all wrong. He's got chief priests, remember, the elders of the people. Uh, he's got all the leaders up there, and he's he's bucking them. He's pushing back. Nope, I see no fault in this man, and he's not even a converted person. The truth is evident even to those who haven't accepted Jesus many times. And so far, Pilate is Pilate's resisting all this evil. Well, let's see what happens next. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we are thankful for this uh, this inclination to let Jesus go, recognizing that these charges are malicious, and so we're thankful for that. Uh, we know the rest of the story, but we still are thankful for that. We're thankful for every glimmering of of conviction, every glimmering of doing what's right, even in hearts that are not surrendered fully to you. Lord, help our hearts to be surrendered fully to you. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friend. Let's be true to him no matter what, and his blessings will be upon us.